good morning everybody today we are going to study again the third part of the what is democracy in the last two videos we have studied about the major decisions of the elected leaders that means we had studied about parviz musharraf he was an army cop he took over the rule he made the referendum or the legal frame work order and he changed the constitution of pakistan and parviz musarraf and his military had the power to make the laws then we study about china where people are not free to vote there is only one communist party who wins the election one person one vote one value these are all the features of democracy and the rulers elected by the people take all the major decisions then elections offer a choice and fair opportunity opportunity to the people to change the current ruler this choice of opportunity choice of opportunity is available to all the people on an equal basis male female gender general or obc they must be the citizen of india they must have the election card the x size of this choice means choosing the leaders leads to a government to be limited 
by basic rules of the constitution and citizens rights means no one can misuse the powers when they are elected but this is a democratic country and you know that is what is happening in our country how leaders are exploiting the poor people how they are making the misuse of their laws because they are in power now as we are saying we are in a democracy let's deal with a democratic government democratic government and non democratic democratic government now if you see you are saying a demo democratic government there are regular elections through which through which people can change their government but here in non democratic government elections are ir regular are irregular and people do not have any right to change the government in democratic government the citizens enjoy the freedom of speech means in democratic government people are free to speak whatever they like but there is no freedom in demo there is no freedom in of speech in non democratic country democratic country and non democratic country then
the opposition party position parties are allowed to function free but in non democratic countries the opposition parties are not allowed to function and non democratic countries there is a rule of one man or one party now these are the differences between government democratic government and non so why do we require democracy because we are free we have the choice but in non democratic countries we don't have so there are some reasons why people why people want democracy so there is a reasons or arguments for democracy there are reasons for democracy the very first reason for democracy is a demo democratic government is better government because it is more accountable accountable form of government means the government is responsible it take cares of the needs of the local or the citizens of india democracy improves the quality quality of decision making decision making democracy democracy provides
a method to deal a method to deal with method to deal with different different and conflicts 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 means here the people having problem between things then democracy demo democracy enhances the dignity dignity of citizens the democracy yeah it allows us to correct its it allows us to correct its own mistakes means if any laws are made and if they are not in favor of the citizens they have to be changed and the mps and mlas they are forced to change the law there are reasons against reasons against democracy is why people do not want democracy so it says the leaders keep on changing so this leads to instability of government in stability of the government every 5 years we have the elections and once a leader from any party becomes the chief minister and after next 5 years another party is chosen and they choose their chief ministers and ministers democracy yeah it is all about political political competition competition and power play power play there is no scope of morality
so many people have to be consulted means if any decision has to be taken we have to call lot of people and consult each other discuss and then we come to a decision so many people have to be consulted in democracy that delays that leads to delays means any decision has to be taken it is, takes a long time to come out elected people do not have do not know the best interest of the people the what people want leaders just think what is right for them which favors them and what the common people want that is left behind so many times such type of decisions which are not in the interest of the people lead to bad decisions and then we have lot of strikes rallies demo crisis leads to corruption like many party people whether it's from like dmk whether it's from shiv sena whether it's from bjp congress or any other party there are leaders who have done lot of corruptions and they have become richer and richer the amount the money that is to be ex expanded has to be spent on common people for the upliftment they snatch it out they keep the lion share for themselves and people do not get the full amount what is sent by the government to them yeah for them so these are the reasons for the why people need democracy and why people don't need democracy